This week's sponsors are Lynn S. Lynn, I fucked up your name last week. Thank you very <laughs> much. I really appreciate it. Sean K. and Jeremy R. Thank you guys so much. If you guys want to help us monetarily, patreon.com slash I hate horror. And welcome to the horror show. A show that dissects, mutilates, dismembers, and butchers all of your favorite and not so favorite horror movies and other horror related events. I'm Sean. I'm Joe. Oh, welcome back, everyone. So we kind of left on an abrupt note last week because we totally forgot October was going to be our next episode. <laughs> like I know we mentioned it, but it was uh, overlooked. We didn't have a plan in place <laughs> at the time. So. This week, I announced it on uh, Twitter, so if you uh, ever want to follow us there, you should probably do that, at I Hate Horror Show, and uh, I had announced that we are doing, this week we are doing our 31, I'm going to call it the Halloween 31, the Halloween 31. <laughs> nice nice ring to it. It's terrible. <laughs> 30, I have a better solution. <laughs> 31 is awful number. Yes. <laughs> like, I wish it was the Halloween 30, or like, the fall 30. The fall 30. There's no way to make it cool. There's no way to make it cool, but I refuse like 31 for 31. Like, yeah, there's nothing. There's man. nothing. Uh, so we did our playlists. Or I'm, I'm calling it a playlist. Uh, it's 31 days in October, obviously. Um, and we're going to try and watch a movie every day. Uh, yes. A horror movie or well, we'll get into that. A horror movie every day. For Halloween, you can follow along. We have Letterboxd. Uh, it's stuff. very convenient to do on Letterbox. I found, you know, keep track of your lists. I agree. I agree. Write a little blurb. It's fun. I, I, I personally, I've said it before, I enjoy reading mm -hmm. uh, listeners of the show, what they have to say about the movies that they watch. Actually, I meant to. I'm going to try and do it while we talk about these lists. Um, I'm going to try and make us uh, some like specific domains so people can easily type it in instead of like going through the whole letterbox process like joe's list yeah, yeah. dot i hate horror dot com cool so I'll, I'll try and do that while we talk it'd probably be fail and you'll probably hear my keys typing and i'll be a mess <laughs> and you'll uh, tell everybody you're gonna ed edit it out i'll tell people i'm gonna <laughs> edit it out and i won't uh so 31 movies in october and me and joe put together our our lists for this uh but before we get into that uh, and, oh, and next week we are doing Mr. Boogity, yeah. the Disney Channel or original. Which was a, re a request. A request from... I, I'm drawing a blank on who, but the, but somebody asked if we were going to do a Disney original oh, again. Oh, man. Well, first Which is of funny because the only like negative comment we've ever gotten was when we did Under Wraps. <laughs> we got a negative comment about Yeah, that? some guy said that was everything that was wrong with podcasts. Oh, that, that was that episode? <laughs> yes, that is so funny. I still... That's like one of my favorite comments of all time this is everything that's wrong with podcast in general yeah. yeah like this is why podcasting is terrible i think or it's like <laughs> something like that and then like all right <laughs> it's just rude <laughs> also like how did you find us like I, if you know if you don't like podcasts or disney <laughs> specials <laughs> why are you listening to them <laughs> it was really weird it was very very weird um dante 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 requested it. Yes. Our buddy Dante um, requested uh, Mr. Boogity. And so did our friend Mike, like, probably when we started. Yeah. He is the king. Yeah. Of Disney Channel. Yeah. Like, from the 80s till now. And, and he, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny. Uh, and I think he requested that, like, a long time ago. Um, and we finally are getting around to it. So, 
those two guys will be happy. <laughs> uh, now, Speak of the devil, he's texting me as we speak. <laughs> it's about tickled. <laughs> um, so we have uh, some announcements. Okay, so Rock and Shock. Yep. We are going to be there on the Saturday, rockandshock.com to get your tickets. I forget what the prices are, but we'll be at the convention and then probably doing the concerts that night. Yeah. Why see not? where the night takes us. <laughs> see where it takes us. Um, maybe I'll get drunk. I don't know. No promises, though. Um, and then, uh, so Rock and Shock, we're not going to Brooklyn Horror Fest anymore, the Brooklyn Horror Film Festival. Um, do check out that event, though. Um, they are hooking us up with some screeners and stuff that maybe we'll talk about on like a bonus app or something. But check them out, uh, Brooklyn Horror Film Fest. Uh, if you just Google it, you'll find it. Um, because I'm not plugging them all the way until I get those fucking movies. <laughs> uh, and then um, what else do we have? Oh, new store will be launched by the time this releases. Limited edition Halloween t-shirts. Yep. Store.ihatehorror.com. Same address, but it's a new shop. Uh, everything you buy there, there's some designs that aren't aren't ours, but we can add them to our store. Um, and ev- everything helps the show. So if you see a shirt on there, that link store.ihatehorror.com, anything you buy on that s- on T public, uh, which is now our partner in it. Um, anything you buy is c- helps us that we get a percentage of at anything. It doesn't matter if it's our shirt or not. Yes. Um, so do that. The limited edition Halloween shirts were a pretty big hit. It looked like it seemed like everyone liked those. Yeah. So check those out. Uh, they're going to be $14. Um, kept that price point low for everybody um because you know <laughs> i'm not gonna charge you th- i'm not gonna you can't pay 30 dollars for a fucking no. shirt with shipping it's crazy it's ridiculous um and then that's it all right so 31 days of halloween yeah um how do we want to do this uh i did mine a little differently i could go first if you want go for it all right so all right so the lists, most people do these lists, it's just one movie a day. I wanted to be a little bit outside of the box. And also, as you and me learned last year, it's fucking impossible. It's very tough to juggle real really life, hard. work. So uh, I tried to make it show. as realistic as possible. I included our movies that we're doing for the rest of October yep. in it. Um, and then I also was like, you know what? People put all these fucking movies. First of all, a lot of people lie about this, so it's okay. It's okay, people. It's, you don't have to do it. Uh, but I was like, you know what? It's really hard to do a movie a day. Plus, you have to watch your TV specials. So I lumped them in. Some of them. Sure. Some of them. So I did TV specials and movies. And uh, I also did different blocks. And I'm going to post a picture of it uh, once I release this. Because you guys can like kind of mess with it and move blocks around and shuffle them. But I think it gives like a good uh Halloween feel. So I started with TV specials as my first block. It's a two day block. And I did the Halloween that almost wasn't. And Halloween is Grinch night. Nice. Have you seen those? I have seen the Grinch one. I never saw the Halloween that almost wasn't. Uh, Judd Hirsch is Dracula. And uh, it's a weird fucking movie, <laughs> but I loved it as a kid. It's it's a full kid movie. Like if you watch it now, you probably fucking hate it. Mr. Boogity style. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. I mean, it's not as corny. I mean, because it's just the monsters. It's just mummy, werewolf, witch, Frankenstein, and Dracula, and Igor. Igor, nice. Um, And fucking Frankenstein tap dances in it. Oh, nice. And But they're like, they're like, oh, you, but like Judd Hirsch is like, oh, you did that in the movie once. Now you th- that's all you do. <laughs> Like that's your gig. Like (laughs) you think that's funny? Like they call them out. (laughs) It's like crazy. I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. Um, And then Halloween is Grinch night. I'm not even like the biggest fan of, but I I feel like I have to watch it every year because I did when I was a kid. It is the trippiest fucking movie. You told me that when we did our old podcast, dude. I fucking hate it. Like, (laughs) well, I don't hate it, but it 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 is like still scary to me. Like, because somebody on LSD made a cartoon. Yeah, that's terrifying (laughs) to me. Like, it just reminds you that LSD is very real drug. (laughs) Doctor Seuss was using it. Just kidding. (laughs) That's slander. Um. So then, after TV specials, I moved to new release block. Nice, because. That's part of Halloween too. 
you you always want to check out something new in October. I always wish there was more horror released. I like, don't know why they don't though. <laughs> I remember like, when uh, House of the Devil by Ty West yes. came out. They released it either on Halloween or like the night before. I was like, finally, like it's fucking coming back. But no, no, not at all, not at all. Um, so I did new release block. Uh, it's going to be. This is the 3rd, 4th, and 5th of October. Blair Witch, Yoga Hosers, and Don't Breathe. Solid. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm excited about all of those. Um, And by the way, we should mention the reason I was talking about those movies is because it's the second. I've already watched both of them. Right. The first two. (laughs) (laughs) Um, What... You have some of the new releases on yours, right? What do you have? I do. What do you have on yours? Uh, I started the first four nights with new releases so i started with 31 because mm-hmm. we're doing 31 days okay. so i was like fuck it start with 31 uh i was going to do don't breathe but i couldn't make it to the theaters today so i audibled and watched hush instead Ooh. um yeah it's uh you gotta have like something new in there yeah in october it's just i feel like it's part of it and then um, the next two uh lights out and the conjuring too both of which i haven't seen yet I haven't seen Lights Out. I've, Conjuring 2 is really good. Um, then I went to, uh, I, it kind of follows with new releases, but never seen movies. Movies I've never seen, but okay. just on my list and I've been failing to get to it. Near Dark and Neon Maniacs. Have you seen so, Neon Maniacs? Oh, no, no. I was thinking, um, the new, what's the new one? Neon Demon. On? Yeah. Uh, or, no. Yeah, something like that. Something weird. Uh, no, I haven't seen Neon Maniacs. I have seen Near Dark, though. I've it's heard pretty about- fantastic. Catherine Bigelow directed that. Yes, which yeah. is super weird. Yeah. I thought she would, like, just did war movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm really excited about Neon Maniacs. From what I understand, it's fucking crazy. I, I've heard very like, good things about Isn't it, like, it. just, like, a billion, like, crazy people? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, whatever. Uh, so that's what I'm doing, Neon Maniacs and that. Uh, after that, I'm doing two days of Simpsons. Treehouse. I'm gonna watch like probably like all of them. <laughs> I mean, I won't, but I just those are so important to me for Halloween. Like they just set like this this yeah. insane tone that just. I agree, and it's bullshit that they're released like the week after now. That that is crazy. Yeah, that is infuriating. You might as well like not watch it this year and then like watch it <laughs> next year. Yeah, yeah, right. Like the week before. That that makes sense to me. Um, what else do we have? Okay, uh, so after that, Rob Zombie Night, oh. and this is because we are doing this for the show. Uh, it's the only reason. So don't get crazy here. Uh, October tenth and eleventh, we are doing. <laughs> I am doing Halloween and Halloween Two by Mister Rob Zombie. Have so, you seen them before? I have. I don't remember the second one. I, I never saw the second one. You've never seen it. Not the second one. I've seen the first one. What did you think of that? I fucking hated it. <laughs> and this kid told me, this kid from college told me it's the scariest movie he ever saw. And Dude, I hate this kid. I, rem- <laughs> I, I remember. <laughs> it made me hate it even more. <laughs> I remember you telling me that. It's so stupid. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about it. I kind of like what they did with the Michael Myers. The backstory? Character. Uh, not the character. I don't know how to say it. I just like that he was a huge dude. <laughs> sure. You know what I don't huge like? Huge and jacked. I don't like how Malcolm McDowell is Loomis, and he talks for like nine straight fucking hours about nonsense. Well, that's the Rob Zombie way, right? Yeah. That's what, I can't wait to talk about Rob Zombie. That's what those episodes are going to be. So we're doing that. I think we're doing... Are we, are we doing that for... Yeah, it's one episode. We're going to talk about Halloween 1 and 2 by Rob Zombie. Yeah. And uh, it'll just be a Rob Zombie episode, really, because we both just watched 31. And there's yep. just so much to say about what he does. Yeah, and honestly, I'm not a hater of Rob. No, I'm not either. I like Devil's Rejects. I mean, I just I think it's fine, fine, but it's just... He does the, the same shit. Same in tropes in every movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe's review. Check out Joe's review of 31 if you've seen the movie. It is so fucking funny. Well, I laughed you. so hard. Thank you. Your explanation of the first five minutes of the movie was amazing. Dude, that guy talks forever. And you don't fucking care about what he's saying. <laughs> Malcolm McDowell's an idiot. <laughs> uh, well, he's not, I guess. I guess it's Rob, but 
whatever. Yeah, don't say that. Because remember, <laughs> dude, did I ever tell you about the time Malcolm McDowell got the internet for like the first time oh ever? Oh my god. <laughs> It was like 1994, and he finally got the he like got the internet. He was all excited, and he signed on, and he was getting death threats because he killed Spock or something from Star Trek. That was so he's like funny. sworn off the internet. That ever was since. so funny. <laughs> oh my god, there, there were trolls <laughs> 20 years ago. So uh, after Rob Zombie Night, I went with uh, my indie showcase. Is what I called this block. It's three nights. I'm doing Phantasm, The Evil Dead, and House of the Devil. You know, Phantasm's a perfect choice i didn't include it in mine because we had just done it but right. it is a perfect choice like the atmosphere is, is i beautiful. only did it because when you pointed out like because you were more of a fan of it than i was and then um i mean i still like it but i mean we ripped it apart <laughs> but when you said that it's a it's a perfect halloween movie i was that stuck with me since and i've been like holy shit that is a perfect halloween movie and like i'm gonna watch that every halloween now like i think it's amazing i think it that atmosphere that it, it sets the perfect. perfect song yeah alone is like it's perfect yeah um and now this kind of like that, that that brings us to halfway through the month about uh we're, that goes through the 14th and then i was like all right what is halloween it's ghosts it's monsters it's witches it's vampires haunted houses so i made a block for all of them okay because I was like, you know what? That's what you got to do. So ghosts is a little weak. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of my ghost block. Frighteners <laughs> and Beetlejuice. I see no problem. Beetlejuice? I, know. I mean, they're fine. It's fun. You got to have fun. Beetlejuice definitely has a Halloween vibe to it. Yeah. It's it's weird. Frighteners. But yeah. I was never too big on Frighteners, ever. Oh, uh, no, I love Michael J. Fox. I know you do. <laughs> uh, love that young Republican. I uh, Dude, Keaton. I love Keaton. <laughs> Alex <laughs> P. Uh, he's my man. Uh, <laughs> then we go to monsters, monster squad, the wolf man, original Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, which is like my favorite universal movie. Monsters movie. Dude, uh, to me, Halloween is universal. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's just something about those movies. that just, scream. I agree. And, and it's just something about Costello. They're so funny. <laughs> just that's the whole movie there's a great scene in that movie where boris karloff laughs and like he was known to never break character oh, but right. they're just being so stupid and they're like sitting on his lap that he like can't help himself <laughs> they are so fucking funny <laughs> it's so stupid um and then pumpkin head i threw in there it's a great one watch some shirtless lance hendrickson with a flamethrower <laughs> uh does he have a flamethrower in that oh yeah okay yeah. um that's good uh move on to witches nice suspiria and drag me to hell. I watch Suspiria every year. I didn't put it on my list this year because I was tr- just kind of trying to switch it up. But yeah, yeah, Suspiria yeah. is fantastic. It's really good. And again, another atmosphere, like just full atmosphere. Yeah. Um, then I went to Vampires. We are doing root, boot and reboot uh, for the second time, finally, after like a year and a half. <laughs> um, Nobody remembers. Nobody. <laughs> uh, and we're doing Fright Night. We're going to look at the remake and the original, so we're going to have to watch both of those. Yeah. So I did that for the 23rd, and then just classic Dracula for the 24th. 25th Haunted House block starts, and I did House. Nice. Because we're doing that yep. in November for Lorena. It's funny that I didn't include any of these movies in mind, so I'm going to have to watch like have 45 movies. In <laughs> uh, House and The Haunting. Awesome. Yeah. I haven't watched The Haunting in... The years. remake, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Matthew Lillard in that, too. Uh, <laughs> sure. And then my final block is the 27th through the 31st. It's Five Nights, and it's kind of what I consider classics, like what I need to... Definitely what I need to see in October. Uh, Pet Cemetery. Yep. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Okay. Halloween. Night of the Living Dead. Which one? Well, that's funny that you say that. Um, 90s version. And then Halloween Night, Night of the Living Dead, original, and Trick or Treat. It's a solid Halloween night. That's a good Halloween night. Yeah. That's a good one. Maybe, uh, dude, the original Night of the Living Dead is so funny when you rewatch it. Like, the special effects of, like, the livers, <laughs> like, the meat that they're eating. It's just so funny. It's, like, so clearly, like, like I don't know. It's just, it's gross, though. It is gross. 
when Imagine that? seeing that for the first time. I, I, dude, I was just about to say, when was that made? And 68. I don't, was it? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this and have Paul hate you forever? I'm 100% positive. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. <laughs> so Paul will not, will be pissed at me for not knowing. Until <laughs> um, you sound unprofessional. So can we, <laughs> we never told that story about Paul was. I tweeted it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Paul was so fucking pissed at us. That I couldn't think of the year Psycho was yeah. released. <laughs> And I was like close. So Joe was like, Joe said like the 70s or something. No, no, I said 68. You said like 63. Oh, okay. Yeah. What was it? Six sixty. Like 60. I still don't know. <laughs> Fuck you, Paul. Uh, I'm, I'll make a point to never remember the year <laughs> out of spite. <laughs> oh, yeah, 60. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you said 68. I said 62, and it was 60. And we Joe- went to, we went to uh, <laughs> pub trivia, which we do every Tuesday. And Paul's like, I can't believe you don't know the fucking year of Psycho. He's like, are you kidding me? You sound like a fucking buffoon. <laughs> I almost just spit my drink over. He was so mad. And then Joe texts me while he's there and tells me, Paul, and Paul didn't finish the episode. No. No, he was he too mad about it. it. Yeah. He, he was so mad at he us. He was embarrassed for us. <laughs> he was so mad he turned it off. <laughs> Which is crazy. <laughs> um, and then Joe texts me all this. So I text Paul and I was like, Paul, you can't be mad at me though. Like I was close. Like, Joe was way off, but I was close. And Paul was, like, furious at me also. <laughs> like, he was like, no, it's just as bad. Like, there's no difference. It's all a fail unless you get the <laughs> There's no bad. It's past fail. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so that is my list of 31 movies. You can find that at, and I did do it, Sean. Sean.IHateHorror.com. That will redirect you to our letterbox list. Nice. And uh, Joe's going to do his list now, and he's uh, joe.ihatehorror.com, and that'll take you directly also to his list. Instead of doing my list, I'm just going to talk about Werner Herzog movies, but replace him with (laughs) Klaus Klinski, so Paul fucking loses his mind. (laughs) Paul's the biggest Werner Herzog fan of all time. (laughs) Dude, he knows so much. I don't even want to get into it because I think we need to do Herzog's... Um, the Nosferatu? Nosferatu, just so we can get Paul talking about Werner Herzog. <laughs> Is it Werner Herzog or Warner? I don't know how you pronounce um, it. I've heard both. Yeah, okay. Paul so, would know. <laughs> she's so mad right I'm going to ask him so I can <laughs> purposely call him the wrong, the wrong way. But I was thinking we should do like Herzog trivia with him. Oh, he, he would... Slay. I, I know, I know. He'd actually be furious. It's fucking stupid how much he knows about <laughs> One of our fans, Ryan, was like, I forgot what he asked me. He asked me a question about Paul. He was like, has Paul seen blank movie? And I was like, dude, I can't ask him that because he'll be furious <laughs> that you even suggested that he might not know what that movie is. <laughs> Or like, it was like if an actor was in a movie or something and he was like, does Paul know that he was in that? And I was like, dude, I can't, I won't even bother asking him because (laughs) I know we're going off the rails here, but for anybody that wants to ever fuck with Paul, (laughs) not only does he know so much about Herzog, he knows so much about Toshiro Mufun, (laughs) who's a Japanese actor from like the forties. He he can the, this guy has been in I think I'm gonna pull up his IMDb as I talk. Uh, he's probably been over a hundred, and Paul could probably name every single one of them. Why, I, dude? I don't know. The the night before I got married, Paul, we watched like the most terrible movies ever. But before he came over, he was just watching a Tashira Mafoon movie by himself, just rattling off facts that obviously I didn't know or care about. That's so fucking funny. Well, I have to so see. I'm gonna use it. Oh man, that is so great. Uh, so I, at the end of the episode, I'm going to call him and ask him about Mufun. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Can I do it right now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Shane Mufun, just, he was in Seven Samurai, which came out in the 50s. Is he alive still? I don't know. Hey. What's up, dude? How's it going? Not bad, you? Not bad? Hey, I had a question. Yeah? Paul, well, um, what can you, what, name as many facts rapidly, like this is rapid fire. How many facts can you name about Tashira Mufun? How many facts? 
Yeah, just like rattle off what you know about them off the top of your head. You have one minute. Oh my god. Okay, you started 16 movies with Kurosawa, <laughs> Akihash, Red Beard, Rashomon, Seven Samurai, Hidden Fortress, The Quiet Duel, The Bad Sleep Well. Oh, jeez. A lot of, um, Yojimbo and Sanjuro. <laughs> He starred in the 1980 TV series uh, Shogun. Um, how many movies did how many how many movies in Le Mans with Steve McQueen? How many movies did he star with uh, with uh, uh, Lee, not Lee Major, Lee Marvin? Only one, Joe. <laughs> to hell and back. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and yet she phonetically did speak English in some of these roles, <laughs> such as in Steven Spielberg's 1941, <laughs> when I believe he, he actually spoke German and English. <laughs> I knew you. I knew you would fucking slay Mufun trivia. That why why do you ask me this? I'm with, I'm I'm recording with Sean right now. I just knew that you would know a lot about Mufun. Dude, I. Who do you know more about, Mufun or Herzog? <laughs> Buffoon. I don't know that much about her. That's dog. bullshit. Yeah, I, I, I've been in those group texts. You know a lot. <laughs> well, I don't know, there's two people in it. <laughs> Way more than we know. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all I wanted. All right, don't fucking bother me again. All right, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Dude, that's unbelievable. I mean, it wasn't nearly as funny as I hope, but Dude, that's unbelievable. How the fuck does he know that shit? Uh, he, he's a savant. I literally don't know like the movies I watched in like the last like three <laughs> weeks or who was in there. <laughs> I couldn't tell you shit. Dude, the best is how disappointed he is. <laughs> he's calling. Yes. Dude, I almost forgot. Yes. Two of my favorites, Drunk Angel and High and Low. Also, <laughs> Japanese didn't like him because he was actually born in China and came over. And his parents, one was Japanese, one was Chinese, so his dialect wasn't correct Japanese. So a lot of people didn't like his films. <laughs> Until later when they really caught on. Huh. Good to know. Yeah. And a lot of Japanese also didn't like Kurosawa's films because he was heavily in- influenced by Western films like Westerns from John Ford. Didn't he uh, adapt Hidden Fortress from Star Wars? Yeah. I believe um, if you went back in time to 1959 to adapt that. <laughs> they look pretty similar. Yeah. I believe also uh, that gives him seven, which is a remake of the Bruce Willis film, Last Man Standing, which is also an adaptation of the Coen Brothers film. Well, now you're... It was also uh, adapted later by Kurosawa in 1960 as Yojimbo. Listen, you're, now you're just being a jerk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. Bye. That change is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> How did he even do that? Well, because Hidden Fortress, Star Wars was based off Hidden Fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a but no, that chain that he did afterwards. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> last man standing in prison. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, I wouldn't even put, I get the joke that he was doing, but like, he added like four extra steps oh, yeah. that like. He used to do that in college. He'd be like, I'd be watching something and be like, oh, you mean this remake of this, that was of this, that was of this, and they're all foreign? I'm like. No, I'm just watching this, Paul. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, and that's, we should say, we, we are going to do a bonus episode one of these days with Paul. And we're going to get in the car again. I want to do as many bonus episodes in a car as possible. It's fun. I think yeah. it's funny. Um, but we're going to get in the car and we're going to have Joe and Paul, who are both like fucking savants at like movie facts. We are going to do a game, which I have <laughs> titled... Uh, well, you could call it Riding in Cars with Boys. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> or I have an alternate name, uh, Peter Linkage, which <laughs> because it's a Lincoln game where I'm going to give them a movie, um, just a movie, any movie, and they're going to just, we're just going to let them, let Joe and Paul just deep dive into it and just like, Link and chain, because that's all Paul does. The, well, that's really funny that you say that, cause, because me and Paul not only lived together for six years, but we also worked at for the town for six yeah. years, and we would have to do like manual labor out in fields. And the past of the time, we'd be like, "Can you connect 
Werner Herzog to uh, fucking Marky Mark. Yeah. And like, we'd bet each other. Like, oh, yeah, I could do it in five movies. Or like, he'd be like, no, I could do it in four. And like, you That's know, so like the crazy. six degrees of Kevin Bacon. So it's going to be perfect. Um, <clears throat> and I can't wait. I can't wait. I actually already have the first two movies picked out. Oh, nice. For uh, riding in cars. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> um, but back to 31 for uh, Halloween. By the way, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing something here. <laughs> this is this is a mess, but it's kind of intentional because the 31, you know, we're just trying to keep it lively. We're not just going to sit here and uh, <laughs> just read our list. Read our list. Uh, <laughs> that's all I got. Um, so it's my turn, huh? So it's Joe's turn. Joe. All right. I kind of did mine in blocks, too. I wasn't smart enough to include the movies that we're going to watch. Like Sean did, but so we'll see. But yours is a true 31 list, so... Um, well, we'll see how true to it is. And by I the stick. way, by the way, it's fine because other people don't have to watch the same shit we do. Although our fans are nuts and they actually watch this stuff. <laughs> that's what I realized. I, that's when I started feeling bad recently was because I realized these people are like tracking down the shittiest movies. <laughs> like people watched uh, Amityville. Yeah, I did. What was that? Three or two? It's two. Two. I mean, Elliot, his wife ordered him Peter Rottentail, which is awesome. Yeah, and he's not the only one. I think Brooke ordered it too. <laughs> Brooke bought it. Fucking awesome. It's crazy. They should be sending us a, a, a little check. They honestly should. A little something, should. something. Well, it gave us that nice shout out <laughs> on this fucking website. <laughs> uh, so, Joe, 31. Let's hear it. All right. So my first block, as I already talked about, was only four movies, but it was new releases that I had wanted to see, and this is the motivation to do it. 31 was my first one. Hush was my second. Both already watched. Both I enjoyed quite a bit. Um, so we both watched 31. I, we probably shouldn't talk about it because it's too new. Yeah. I mean, my review is up on Letterboxd. Yeah, yeah. All right. All um, right. And well, you liked Hush or no? I did like Hush. Uh, I thought it was pretty suspenseful it's yeah it was well it was well done it's a it's just a it's really it, nothing new it's but. nothing new at all well well there was mute, weird there's mute witness it's weird it's like it's nothing new but at the same time it was way different than what the stupid poster on netflix was like i saw the poster on netflix and i was like yes. i know what this is it's gonna be like the strangers i thought that's what it was gonna yes. be. yes and it wasn't no it's just some it, asshole <laughs> who takes off his mask immediately <laughs> Spoilers, I guess. I should have said that, but it's not really a spoiler because he just does it. Right. <laughs> and uh, I had said in my review, like, this is, this is a fuck. I hate talking about new movies because I don't want to spoil it for people. I know. It's really weird. Um, so fast forward five seconds, but he offers no motivation, which normally I don't like. Like, I don't like when mm-hmm. things are left up to your imagination. Like, yeah, I don't want yeah, things yeah. explained while I'm watching a movie. But this kind of just added to the chaos of it. This is like, this guy is just fucking bananas. Like, yeah. you don't know why he's doing it. And it kind of made it more terrifying. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, he didn't even know. No. So, <laughs> it, that's like, it kind of worked out that way. Yeah. Uh, so, then it's Lights Out and The Conjuring too. Mm-hmm. So, then for October 5th, I had no rhyme or reason behind this other than the fact that I was listening to the death metal band in Petigo. <laughs> And they had a EP that was released on cassette called Buyo Omega. And when I was in college, I came across that and realized that it was a Joe D'Amato movie. And what's it called? It's called Buyo Omega or Beyond oh, the Darkness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Which I've seen before. It is bananas, as most of his movies mm-hmm. are. And I just was listening to the band the other day. and was like, fuck, I want to watch that movie again. So. Oh, boy. That'll be interesting. I oh, can't yeah. wait for that review. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my next block is the Romero block. So October 6th is the original Night of the Living Dead. Then the 7th is Dawn of the Dead. And then the 8th is Day of the Dead. That's a good idea. Those are all just amazing uh, just amazing Dude, movies. Great zombie movies. Set really good. And you know what? I think I like the, uh, the, the other two. Well, I guess I don't like them more than Night of the Living Dead, but... I think oh. Dawn of the Dead's fantastic. There's something about those colors and the colors in those movies that just really echo Halloween. I mean, it's like that weird gray green yeah. paint that they use on the uh, zombies that just. I agree. I like and a movie it. that I watched last year that I thought the colors was uh, Reanimator, but like the green like, yes. like ooze that he uses is yes. just like it's like it's I don't awesome. I don't know what it is about it, but it reminds me of Halloween, like a fake haunted yeah, house. Yeah, 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 exactly. 
Then I have my vampire block. So October 9th, I'm starting with the original Nosferatu. Then October 10th, I'm going with Blackula. And there's really no rhyme or reason to that other than I love that movie. And we went to Connecticut Cult Classics and they yes. played the trailer for it. And I was like, fuck, I haven't watched that since high school. I need to yeah. watch it again. Yeah, and I, I think I, I think we should do an episode on it. Yeah. Um, it's deserving. It's really good. It is. Um, Pam Greer's involved. Yeah. Who's wonderful. Now, Nosferatu. The original, original? Yeah, 1922. He has that huge ass light switch. I just watched. <laughs> do you, do you, have you ever picked up on that? It's the biggest <laughs> fucking thing. Dude, type in. In the, in the shadow? Like when yeah, he's Sean, creeping? It, it's like, uh, there's nothing in this room I can even compare it to other than the door jam. It's, <laughs> <laughs> wait, so, but. <laughs> wait. <laughs> You see it when he's like creeping in the shadows, right? No, he's or... flicking the switch. Oh, he is. I, I gotta fucking pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> is this like a known thing? I I don't know if people pick up on yes, it. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> Did you pull it up? Yeah. Oh my god! It's fucking huge, right? <laughs> it's like a fucking. It's like there's no need for it's a light like, switch. I I don't even know how to explain it. Like except in the cartoons when you see somebody flip the switch for Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's like, giant, like a voltage. Like, <laughs> giant fork. <laughs> it's huge. It's like a humongous. Yeah, except breaker. this isn't a fork, though, right? No, it's, it's just, just a, a giant it's just a switch. switch. <laughs> it's just a switch. Why, what, why is that? I, I have no clue. That's so weird. That is. How did I never notice <laughs> that? Uh, Nosferatu is. Um, it's good. I, I don't know. It was weird, though. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those for out doing. I'm a sucker for the old ones. Like last year for Halloween, I watched Haxon, the witchcraft movie. I still haven't seen that. It's it's basically a documentary. <laughs> well, I loved. Uh, fuck, I can't even think about it now. In the cabinet, uh, Doctor Doctor Calgary. Yeah, I really like that one. And those for out just never did it for me. That's um, who's uh who plays Max Shrek? Max Shrek, yeah, yeah. And did he do the? Uh, he did another one too, right? He was. I think he played him. Um, did he play him in? I don't know. I'm, he I'm definitely not. didn't. He's like Paul is the one to ask about Max Shrek. Yeah, he's probably fucking pulling his hair out right now. I thought he played him <laughs> twice, but I could be wrong. I'm but not sure. Anyway, so October 9th, Nosferatu. October 10th, Blackula. October 11th, the sequel, Scream, Blackula, Scream, and then October 12th to end the vampire is. I had to do a Christopher Lee one. A hammer one, so I chose Dracula AD 1972. I still haven't seen that. It's great. I know that's what I've heard recently. I saw it somewhere and I was like, I should check that out. It's very what a good. weird fucking title, though. Yes, <laughs> that one and uh, the Satanic Rites of Dracula, I had always liked quite a bit from the I've Hammer films. We should do a Hammer special. We should. Hammer is wonderful. It'd be interesting. So that's the end of my vampire block <clears throat> for October 13th. I. I don't. I'm not a fan of Tim Burton, but I've always thought this particular movie has a Halloweeny feel, and it's Sleepy Hollow with Johnny Depp and Christopher Walken. People like that movie. I, I don't think I've seen it. Um, I used to watch I hate it. That story. Sorry to cut Do you. Do you? I hate Sleepy Hollow. Story. Really? But Jesus, <laughs> this is this fucking train. Uh, yeah. No, I've never been a fan of the Sleepy Hollow, but if that movie's good, maybe it'll bring me back in. It's just everything I've ever seen that's related to Sleepy Hollow is the most boring fucking thing. See, I, I've always been, you know, I'm, I'm a pretty avid reader. I've always loved the story. Oh. Uh, I used to actually read, because it's a, sh- a short read, I used to read it every October. Um, I kind of burned out on it because it's the same fucking story <laughs> and the ending is really stupid. You make about cranes of fucking... He's a pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I used to watch this movie a lot in high school, though, so... Hmm. I'm curious I, to see how it holds up. I thought you were going to say Ed Wood, and I was like, that's actually a pretty good Halloween movie. I, 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 Ed Wood's my favorite Tim Burton, so. I, I might throw that in there. Ed Wood is really good. I've been thinking about it a lot. Really lately. good. That's a really, really good. fucking fantastic movie. It's, yeah, I think it's his crowning achievement. Truly, except Frank and Weenie. <clears throat> Frank and Weenie is pretty great. The original one? The original one. That's good. Lil, Lil Krat had that on VHS. I don't know how he got it. But. <laughs> uh, so that was the 13th. Then the 14th and the 15th is my Peter Jackson block. So I'm going with Bad Taste and then Dead Alive. 
I saw that. That's those are good. That's a good block. I haven't seen Bad Taste in forever, and the, I love Dead Alive. There's so much you could do in Halloween lists. Like, there's so much you want to put on. Like, I might just follow your list. <laughs> uh, the next, I can't do my math. Five days is just personal Halloween preferences that okay. meant a lot to me when I was younger. Candyman on the 16th, then Tales from the Crypt Demon Knight, which is Billy Zane's Dude. greatest performance. <laughs> I mean that wholeheartedly. Saying a lot. Uh, <laughs> I fucking hate that movie. And Come I know, on. I know I'm in the minority. <clears throat> I watched it recently. Are you confused with Bordello? Blood? No. <laughs> nope. No, I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't hate it. I shouldn't say that. I'm just not a fan. Part of that is because when that movie came out, I was so deep into Tales from the Crypt as a kid. I was like, I need to see this. I need to see this. Couldn't because it was rated R. And my parents were not thrilled with the idea of taking me to an R-rated movie that they might have to walk out of if there was just like a million titties in it. I, I'm assuming that's their reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because they were okay with showing me R-rated movies as my dad showed me New Jack City when I was like seven. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like when it was in theaters, they were like, mm, like if there's boobs, I have to take you out of there. <laughs> like, And then probably also just to be the parent that's bringing their like – eight-year-old into a R-rated film is probably right. not the best idea. But <clears throat> I wanted to see it so bad, I couldn't see it. So I would write short stories based on the characters and what I knew of them from the trailers. So, like, I knew Billy Z- or I was wrong about who Billy Zane's character was, but I thought he was, like, killing the demons and stuff, like a uh, demon killer. And uh, I would write all these fucking elaborate stories about Billy Zane <laughs> killing demons and locked in this building. So you're telling me you used to write Billy Zane fan fiction? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except I had no idea who Billy Zane was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, and then, uh, so then I eventually saw it and I was just like, oh, this, my story was way better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I thought the same thing about it too. I used to write it fan fiction. I'm sure it was better. It was. Yeah. <laughs> It's boring. <laughs> Agreed. It's very long. <laughs> people fucking hate us. But a lot of those people are probably like, you know what? Now I finally can say it. <laughs> I feel like we get that a lot. I feel like a lot of our fans are like, I'll say something that I think goes against, I know goes against the grain of um, the, I don't know what you'd call it. Goes against the grain? Goes against the grain. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll just say something sucks and it's a very popular movie, but then we end up getting all these messages from our fans that are like, you know what? I don't really like that movie either. <laughs> I've been living a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's boring. I've been telling everyone Omen is a top five horror movie, and it's not because it's boring as fuck. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. I'm with you. <laughs> all right, keep going. Uh, October 18th is Hellraiser. October 19th is The Fog, That's which I know great. you don't like, but The Fog is a great ghost story the to me. The Fog's a good Halloween movie. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> uh, October 20th is the BBC special, The Woman in Black, which good. I always found terrifying. Good, good. Then I'm going into kind of the classics. I don't want to say universal because they're not all universal, but I also have The Haunting for October 21st. Then I have Dead of Night, which is a 1945 movie, which I have never seen but always wanted to. Dead of Night? Yes. What year? 1945. Hmm. It's been on my list for quite some time. I love doing that. Oh, yeah, that's on my list, too. Maybe I'll do that one with you. Then for October 23rd, I have Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is right up there with the Wolfman to me. Yeah. I was actually just talking to um, one of our fans about we were debating uh, who was better, Wolfman or Creature from the Black Lagoon. But we, we kind of put them in the same category as like the top tier, mainly because of the makeup. The way the characters were. Yeah. Um, They're shot beautifully. Yeah, they really are. And, and the makeup, I really do think, like, even, I know you look at the creature's costume now and it's a little silly, but it's still really good. Well, then they put it in color? Because when they put it in color, it kind of took away from it. But when it was black and white, yes. it looked way better to Black me. and white was really yeah. good. And uh, the fan I was talking to was Tiffany. Uh, so shout out to Tiffany. Uh, but yeah, we were talking about it and... Uh, yeah, those are both like fantastic, really fantastic 
movies. Yeah. I, I'm glad you put that on there. It's a good movie. And I should have put it my on. My next day, the 24th, is The Wolfman from 1941. That movie, <clears throat> like, might be perfect. Agreed. It's really good. Then October 25th, this is, I want to say for my wife, but it's really for me too. It's Halloween Town, which is a Halloween, uh, a Disney Halloween special from 1998. There's actually three of them. That I'm, was 98? Yeah. I was way too old to be watching that, but I may uh, be ambitious and watch all three that night. We'll see where it takes me. There's three of them? Oh, yeah. All the same kids or no? Mm-hmm. Good for them. Then I have my Fred Decker block. So October 26th is Night of the Creeps. Then October 27th is The Monster Squad. And then my last four nights of the 31 are like what I feel everybody should be watching yes. during this month. I have Young Frankenstein. <clears throat> sorry. I have Young Frankenstein from October, on October 28th. I have Nightmare on Elm Street, October 29th, the original one, obviously. Then I have Trick or Treat, the night before Halloween, and then Halloween on Halloween. It's crazy that Trick or Treat is up there now. And I th- feel like it's the majority of people now. I agree. Isn't that crazy? We, <clears throat> we saw a modern classic. Yeah. Like, and eventually, it, like, by the time my son's our age, like, it'll be in the same vein as Halloween. It's Halloween, I feel yeah. Like. like, people will be like, that fucking movie. Like, there's probably be, like, three remakes already by then. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Like, no, fuck the remake. And then some guy's like, I think the remake's the scariest version of all time. <laughs> some guy. <laughs> so my son will be like, I fucking hate that kid. <laughs> uh, I thought the remake was better. Uh, anyway. So that's yeah, that's list, my list. Man. That's a good list. And his list is at joe.ihatehorror.com. Check that out. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's a little different. We haven't done like a special in a while. A long we time. Just, we just talk. Um, so hopefully you guys like it. <laughs> I mean, we literally talked about nothing. You should put that disclaimer first. Uh, that what? We talked about nothing? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we needed a break, man. We, we've we been going hard. And, Patreon uh, picks. There's yeah. been some crazy stuff uh, going on. Yeah. We're just busy. So we, we, uh, we just need a little break here. And uh, this was a perfect time. October. Get ready for all the festivities and movies we're going to watch. And... Uh, yeah, and oh, and we'll uh, real quick. Let's talk about uh, what's coming up in October. We are doing uh, so. We did our. This is the Halloween playlist episode. Next week, Mister Boogity, the Disney Channel original. It is on YouTube with commercials. Watch the which one with makes commercials. it better. Yes, I love everything with commercials in it. Uh, we are doing after that our Simpsons Treehouse of Horror. Uh, we'll take one old one, older one, one newer one, and talk about them both like we did last year. I think that was a pretty good episode last year. Sure. That Simpsons episode was phenomenal with the pumpkin The pumpkin supremacist. <laughs> that was the craziest, <laughs> funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I actually watched that recently. I was falling asleep and Dude, that was on like the TV. the funniest thing. I, I still can't get over how funny that is. How absurd. <laughs> His last is. words are pumpkin segregation forever. <laughs> it's such a minor plot point. It's It has nothing to do with it. Uh, and then we're doing... Rob Zombie's Halloween after that, where we're going to talk about one and two, discuss uh, old Robbie's movies there. Um, and then after that, they'll, it'll be the night after Halloween. Halloween is a uh, Monday. Um, so this will be the final October movie, even though it gets released November 1st. And that'll be uh, Fright Night. Uh, boot or reboot? Boot reboot. I'm excited. Spoiler Have alert. The answer is boot. Boot. Have you seen it, the the reboot? No. Neither have I. <laughs> Colin Farrell, man. Yeah. The guy that got kicked out of Hollywood, like, unexpectedly. Wait, what? Like, he just disappeared oh. for a while. And, he, like, he'll show up in these movies, like Fright Night and stuff. But weird stuff, man. Hollywood's a weird place. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, if you want to support us, rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. You guys got us up to number 44 on the iTunes charts today. 42, that's right. 42 on the iTunes charts. We can't thank you enough. That's literally, literally, the definition of the word literally, all because of you guys. The subscriptions, it, it's a stupid algorithm, but it's like it's based on like <laughs> subscriptions and reviews and downloads. It's a weird, fucking terrible algorithm, but it means we're doing well. So thank you guys so much. So rate, review, subscribe. That's the best way you can help us out. It just gets more eyes on the show and um 
helps us uh, grow. So just do that. And if you do, uh, make sure you email me, sean at ihatehorror.com, and I will send you a uh, sticker for free. Excuse me. Uh, we just ran out of Black Flag stickers, though, so. I'll probably order another batch, though. They were really popular, so I'll do that. Um, but, yeah, just send me an email, and I'll send you some stickers. If you can support financially, monetarily, uh, we have uh, patreon.com slash ihatehorror, I think, is the uh, address. I always fuck it up. Um, and for there, it's a it's a monthly donation. You can choose to cancel it at any time if you just want to donate one month or whatever. You can do that. Um, we're going to start releasing more bonus content there. Uh, we're going to try and do like two episodes a month, and then maybe me and my wife will do an additional one every once in a while, and we'll see how it goes. But we're going to try and add a lot more content there. I've got an outtakes episode. I'm still trying to whittle down. <laughs> it's a lot of stupid shit. Uh, yeah, we post that there. You get early access to the link at the episodes, um, you know, a few days early. So, yeah. um, so patreon.com and, uh, store.ihatehorror.com, our new shop. Again, you can buy anything on there and it helps us out. As long as you go to store.ihatehorror.com, that's it. Uh, that, that link will count for us, whether you buy our new shirt, but we have that limited edition Halloween shirt. So check that out. It's a really cool shirt. Uh, and we'll have some new merchandise coming out soon about that i should nah, whatever <laughs> anyway uh what else do we have i hate horror.com facebook.com slash i hate horror i'm on twitter at i hate horror show and instagram at i hate horror i'm twitter at joe v421 instagram boognish 1985 and snapchat horror show joe that's it right sounds good gotta thank harley poe my main man <laughs> That's it, guys. So, for Joe, this is Sean. Stay weird. Thank you. Adios! Adios!